Welcome back everyone to DevPro CB's introduction to HTML5. Uh, today we're going to be learning about the aside tag. Once again, this is Carlos helping you guys out. Um, the aside tag, just so that you guys are aware, are is essentially information that's going to be associated to other content around it. So you'll put the aside content in something like an article tag, or you'll put an aside content to the main page itself, similar to those boxes you find off in many web pages all the way to the right that may have additional information. Think of the aside bar or the aside tag as uh, additional information related to what you're talking about. Um, so we'll go ahead and represent that with both the article tag and the aside tag. So we'll go ahead and first start and uh, represent the article. Remember, so we open the tag, close that tag. It's always easier to get in and do that. Give it some space. <clears throat> right, and then the article can be, you know, I went to Egypt. Right? And your side information can be... And then we got an uh, president was overthrown a couple of days ago. Okay, so this is the aside. So let's go ahead and save that. Now to the browser, it doesn't look like anything. It looks like regular text. Uh, it's all about how it's represented in the uh, back end here. All right, so you see here it says in the article, this is uh, quoted out information. So this says, I went to Egypt. You know, um, so even though you went to Egypt, and this is more of a personal information, you used your aside content to provide some factual information as well about Egypt because it's a current event. Um, when, at the time of writing this particular article, you know, so it, it's one of those things that you're looking at where the aside content is essentially going to represent some other additional information relative to that article. Uh, a lot of times this will be used for like linking, you know, it could be uh, a, a href equals, let's so egypt.com. I'm not even sure that's a real website but who knows um, close that okay. so then go to Egypt there we go okay so we can do that and then if we go ahead and go to um, I'm not going to click links. I don't know where it's going to bring us. Um, but the aside content is really a lot of times going to be like links or additional information associated to the particular content that you've written in the article itself. Now, one of the things that I wanted to mention is essentially anytime you start using a lot of the uh, HTML5 tags, like a side or article or address, uh, they automatically create these break lines. That's why you notice that you know, in the previous videos, we wrote content, uh, it would end up right here on the side. Um, but since you're using these tags, um, HTML5 specific tags, in most browsers, it'll create a break line automatically for you. So it's not necessary to do it when creating um, HTML5 tags as a whole, because it automatically um, understands that you're trying to create a new line uh, for this type of content. So it's not really easy to represent here, uh, just because in HTML5, it's just essentially static content. But when you start getting into CSS and uh, JavaScript, you can do a lot more powerful things with the design and the structure of what a side can do. Uh, essentially, you can just create like a one-page template, and based on when that person loads up their uh, website, the aside content can change based on what's available in the article itself. So this is when you start getting into the more advanced areas of it. But really, um, a side is just simply open tag aside, close tag aside and then whatever content you want to have inside that information, but nothing complicated. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to get and leave them below this video. Um, once again, this is Carlos from DevPro CB, and I'm signing out.